Hey everyone, so I'm here with yet another Fab Fit Fun summer edit sale. Um, I picked this one up in June and it arrived today, so I'm just going to quickly go through it so you can see what items I've got here in the box. Um, so it was 24 items in total. Yeah. Let me show you. Um, yeah, I've got some, some good exciting bits. I've got overload of these spawn gels now so I need to stop buying them because I've not even actually tried one yet um but I have got the coconut blossom which smells nice I'll enjoy I think using this kind of scent myself so there it is just that kind of standard sponge hang on the string um and then this one is really nice packaging it looks nice be nice as a gift and um, black orchid same one there and then this one which is papaya yuzu i think i don't know not sure um yeah then i got lots of different kind of random bits so let me take you through i got three packs of these these are the daily bio cotton makeup removers so it just comes as you can see, it's got a laundry bag included. And um, yeah, these are just makeup removers that you can put in the wash. Um, it says two wine, three facial makeup removers. So three bigger sized ones. And Daily Concept seems to be um, a good brand, um, which you see quite regularly on FabFitFun. So I think these are cheap as well. I think they're only about $5 if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, happy to give those a go. So I've got two more in there. Um, this is gonna be my attempt to get away from um, cotton rounds and to use ones that I can put in the washing machine and, and wash. Um, this is a bit random. These, it's been a bit dusty, I'm not sure why, but anyway, bidets um, by the Vanity Project. So these are like feminine wipes and um, towelettes, which I thought actually for on the go, they might be nice just to get my handbag, um, just to freshen up. So I think they were $5 as well, quite random, but that's those. I got this, um, I've never tried anything from Kapari. This is just a um, kind of lip gloss, lip balm. I wanted it as a lip balm, so I'm not sure how balmy or glossy it is, but that's that anyway. Yeah, that was sweet. So uh, I think it's in birthday suit. Um, so I'll give that one a try. Then I got a couple of natural deodorants. So here's the first one. I'll find the other one in a minute. It smells really nice. I, I did have a, a quick little peek in here, so um, I've had a quick smell. Um, Cleo Coco is it? Cleo and Coco charcoal deodorant. It's a natural deodorant, aluminium free. Um, sweet surrender, it's called with lavender and vanilla. So you can really smell the lavender. Um, yeah, at the moment with the whole coronavirus thing, I'm gonna, go, gonna give this a go and just see um, what this is like. Then I've got cocoa floss. So this is just dental floss with an orange scent. I thought that I would give this a go um, and I, I did get this out and just try it and it seemed you know it seemed pretty good not I guess it, it seemed a bit strange with it being an orange scent you know it's fine it was different but I think I'd probably prefer kind of minty scents going forward Um something else from daily concepts was this daily stretch wash I believe I've got one of these before that I was going to get for someone as a gift didn't realize it was the same thing and bought two more again to give to um two different people that i thought would be good good gifts for them um it's one for my husband i might give one to my mum and probably i'll give one to my brother now as well so i got a couple of those um and then i got this i don't know how you pronounce it terry terry mayor i'm not sure how to... terry Marie, I don't think it sounds it pronounced that way, but anyway, lovely packaging. Um, Matcha Rose and MSM, not sure what that is, antioxidant moisturizer. 
This is a beautiful bottle. Really lovely. So yeah, looking forward to using that. Um, what size is that? I can't see. I think it's like a 50 mil. I'm not sure. Maybe it's less than that. Um, I can't see that now. What it? What size it is? Oh, well, never mind. I have to try to find that another time. Um, I got the um, same brand. I won't try and butcher it again. Intensive Brightening Eye Serum with Hyaluronic Acid. Again, beautiful packaging. This had, I think it's like a kind of greyish packaging. Let's have a quick look. If I can open this one handed. Oops, sorry, my hands just come over that. I'm trying to wash through as well, which is not great. So here it is. That's that. It's just a um, intensive brightening eye serum with hyaluronic acid, 30 ml anti-aging. So that is that. Then I've got a few more bits, and then I've got um, a few bundles. So this one, I'm really excited to try actually. This is by Neon & Co Pearl Illusion Shower Gel and Body Cream. It looks really nice and it smells really nice as well actually. Uh, so if it's enjoyable to use, I would definitely pick up this again because I'm impressed so far by the smell. Um, yeah, it looks really sweet. It doesn't smell sweet, it's just, yeah, it's strange. It's, it does smell, as the name suggests, like a pearl. I'm not sure how you describe what a pearl smells like, but it, it's nice. Uh, least I've not tried anything by them before. I've got a couple of serums. One is um, Blue Lotus Youth Serum and the other is a Brightening Serum. Let me see if I can open this quickly. I'm not sure how easy I can get this out. Sorry for the noise. I'm trying to get this out of packaging. Okay. Bear with. lid has just come off this one. There you go. So that's what it looks like. And let me just pop the lid back on. There you go. So yeah, um, both similar packaging. One is for brightening and the other one is a youth serum. This came as part of a bundle. So this is the Asante Rose Water Pomegranate Toner. Um, and refreshing spray, spray 100 mils. Let's see if I can open this one quickly for you. Da -da -da. There you go. Um, so yeah, I can't smell it. I did have a peek at this one as well. You can't smell it when you take the lid off. I haven't spritzed it. But um, yeah, I like sprays like that. So that came as part of a bundle set. Uh, what else did it come with? Levido um, body cream, which is what I really wanted to get it for. That came in a previous Fun box, which I haven't um, uploaded yet. I will do. And then it also came with a micellar water, which is in here somewhere. And that's the other um, the other natural deodorant I got, Clio and Coco. Um, this one is in Brave Heart Basil Mint. That smells really nice as well, so hopefully they're decent. Yeah, here was this micellar water. I don't use micellar waters, I have to be honest. Um, so yeah, I just got it um, because it was part of a bundle and it was it was only like six dollars extra to get this and um, the um, spritz spray. So I just yeah picked it up. I wasn't sure, but then I thought okay, just try it. Um, Murad Renewing Eye Cream. This is 15 mil, so quite a small one. But um, I've not really tried much from Murad, so I was happy to give this a go. And that's that eye cream. And then it's a little nifty bundle. Um, so this is Rachel Pally bag. How easy is this one going to open? Let's have a look. Okay. 
I've seen somebody upload this on um, YouTube. So this was also fairly reasonably priced. And um, yeah, it's just like a, a little kind of handbag purse. It, has, it doesn't have straps, but look how sweet it is. Really nice. I think you can turn it either way. You could do it so this is the outside. But, um, yeah, I just thought it was a bit different. Yeah, nice going out. Um, how easily am I going to be able to open that up? Probably not one-handed. I will give it a go. So yeah, as you can see, quite roomy, spacious. Um, so got an extra pocket in there. Yeah, tiny, small, well not tiny, but small extra pocket. So I just thought, yeah, it's cute, isn't it? Um, it's like vegan leather. So that was sweet and then I got a couple of mystery bundles so I have one that's in the previous box that got sent and these are the ones that are left so this one here the number is 2002 MYS 020 let's see what I got in here so we got the sponge gel ginger Bergamot. It smells quite nice, it just smells quite soapy really. I'm not uh, ginger's okay for me, it's not a massive scent I particularly like like some people do. So that might be one that I pass on. If I even like them, I've not even tried one yet, so hey, let's see. Then this is um from milk. This is like an eye pigment. It looks really dark in the packaging if it is Sorry, my hand's just coming over the screen. Yeah, if it's like this dark colour, can't see that I'd ever try, you know, wear that myself, but I'll try it and give it a go and see how that turns out. Then, oh yeah, I had a sneak peek at this. Really random. This is just, don't. it's called Don't Cramp My Style. And it's literally a tampon case. So... Yeah, it says you can hold up to five super tampons. Fashionable, not really sure about that. Um, or you can use it as a pocket for pills or liners. It's got a little strap there that you can kind of use. To be honest, I'm not really a fan of using tampons. I know too much information, but um, I prefer using towels. Obviously, I'll do it if I'm, you know, the rare occasions I'm actually doing exercise or, you know, something like that. But yeah, it's not my preference. Um, but yeah, a bit random, but I guess that's the whole point of the mystery bundles. And then we have these, they're like little trink, trinket trays, like in Vogue, set of three. Um, so what I'm going to probably do with these is I'm going to have a look online and see if this is anything that I would want to keep, or maybe it's going to be something I gift on. Um, so I won't open them, I don't want to kind of ruin the stamp at this point, but I'm not sure that I'll keep these, I might give them on to someone else as a present. And then the last thing in here, oh no I've got another thing in here, yeah randomly, so on the, um, the items sheet, you know the invoice sheet it puts in, um, it just had noted this seed invigorating facial mask. Um, 75 mil for stressed or tired skin um, but I didn't order this so I don't know if it's like a freebie thrown in or, or what um, our oil rich face mask with added peppermint is designed for stressed tired skin that's been exposed to harsh natural elements um, apply a generous layer to dry skin leave on for 5 minutes and rinse with warm water so yeah, I I didn't um I didn't add this to my basket to purchase, so it seems to have been a random thrown in. But uh, yeah, that's a nice surprise, and I'll give that a go. And then the last mystery bundle. This is one a one of three, and the other one I've already got, but it's in a different box. So this is two thousand and two MYS zero two three. One of the things in here I am really excited about. Let me see how easy can I open this now.
and let me grab it. This is the thing I'm excited about from Tarte. You know what? I don't even think I've ever owned anything from Tarte at all. Um, but the lights, camera, lashes, four in one mascara. I've always wanted to try this. I've never purchased it. I don't know why. I just haven't. Probably the price, maybe in black. But I've heard good things about this, so I'm excited to give it a go. I've not been wearing makeup with the whole coronavirus and lockdown situation. And as I've been working remotely, um, yeah, I've just stopped um, putting makeup on. But yeah, look at the packaging. Cool. So, yeah, I'll be excited to try this. And then what else have I got in here? So, Torres. I've got these um, face wipes, face wipes with Greek yogurt, cleansing and makeup removing wipes, happy to give those a go. And then randomly, sorry I'm rushing now because I think my battery is really low, um, cold weather classic sugars, apple pie cane sugar, vanilla, what is that, oh, I can't see, vanilla nutmeg cane sugar. And then smoky dark chocolate cane sugar. So I think you can use this for like baking, you can use it for drinks. So I don't use it, yeah. Look, it shows you there for baking. You can put it on things as well. Um, I don't know if it'd be random to try that in coffee because that's the only thing really that I'd add sugar to. I'm not an avid baker, unless this would make me try and be one. But yeah, I like some of these things because it also made me think there's kind of random stocking filler ideas and for Christmas, even for my husband, that some of this stuff can go in. But I might try this myself, not sure yet. And then the last thing in here is the Briogeo Organic and Australian 100% Tea Tree Oil for Dry, Itchy Scalp and Skin, 30 mils. So to use this, can apply directly to areas of concern whilst using a cotton swab or dilute a few drops into a carrier oil and massage into the scalp for bedtime and rinse next morning. Can be used to enhance the scalp soothing benefits of your favourite shampoo or conditioner. Oh, so you could add it to a shampoo, and shampoo and a conditioner. Hmm, I don't know about that. Random. Um, I might have to have a look online and yeah, maybe add it to my conditioner or shampoo or something like that. Um, I don't really get dry itchy scalp I have to say like maybe when I get stressed um, you know it's like a stress response but typically no anyway I'm babbling and this uh, this video is getting far too long but I hope you enjoyed this um, unboxing from Fab Fit Fun I've still got three more to do um, so yeah I've um, been spending far too much but enjoying doing so recently so yeah, hope you enjoy guys and um, please subscribe and I will be back with more FabFitFun unboxing videos. Thanks, take care, bye.